Hello guys, thanks for watching this video and now I would like to show you how to make a quick very uh, digit classification with random forest in Python. And in, in the beginning we import uh, some data from SQL layer and standard libra libraries. It's, it will be a uh, uh, digit uh, data set. It came from low digit function from SQL learn. And okay, we import a digit like this. And let's check what we have in this variable and keys will be uh, data targets, target names and image. Data is a primary data that we want to predict from. Target it will be from 0 to 9. It will be, mm, yes, target will be from 0 to 9. It will be 10 different labels. And image, it will be, a uh, let's say, image uh, convert it to numerical format matrices and description okay it'll be, it doesn't make a lot of sense okay and uh, the next thing what I want to do is to make uh, some visualization on raw data what because we want to be familiar of the data what we want to predict to okay for this we are using matplotlib uh, fig figure uh, setup line and we are setting let's say figure six by six inches and we are creating a matrix of cells and let's say we have a margins left margin will be zero right margin will be one bottom margin okay zero top margin one and the horizontal space let's say will be a zero point zero and the uh, width space is the same 0 0.05 okay and on the next line we want to plot a specific digit on a specific cell and we have a matrix uh, 8 by 8 let's say and we want uh, to set up this uh, visualization matrix uh, okay, 8 by 8 matrix, and we want to plot uh, I plus I plus 1 uh, cell, and X sticks uh, uh, will be a empty list, and I uh, I ticks uh, will be empty list uh, also. Okay. Uh, okay, that's fine, and go to the next line. And on the next slide, we want to tell Python that we want to plot a specific digit on this cell. And let's write it digits, image, and index will be i. And cmap will be a color palette. Uh, yeah, it will be color palette, and we are using binary color palette and interpolation will be nearest interpolation does not make a lot of sense but let's say it will be nearest uh, okay and uh, of course you want to uh, label each cell uh, by targets because we want to be sure that each digit correspo corresponds to correct target Yes, and let's check it out. Yeah, fine, okay. We have a very nice table. We have a very nice matrix. As you can see, each digit corresponds to correct label on written on the left bottom side. Okay, on the next step, we are building a random forest that is machine learning uh, model classification model it is the engine of our videos and before doing it we want to uh, import uh, a uh, random forest classifier that is came from ensemble learning uh, family and secret learn because as you know random forest is like ensemble learning method and uh, we want to create a X uh, training and test set from cross voltation train test split function and let's do it 
we are creating now training and test set for X and training and test set for I for targets and okay we are using train test split yes and we are, for this we are using raw data and and targets targets I mean it's a uh, classes like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, H. Uh, okay, we have a uh, error in targets. Okay, and random state. We have a uh, some mistaken in random state. Um, let debug it. Random state not like this. Um, underscore. Okay, and and and. Uh, Okay, uh, I know uh, we have a uh, use uh, equal instead of brackets. Okay, yes. Okay, it's working. We have a train and test split on our task. And on the next line, we want to create a model, and we're using random forest classifier. And arguments will be n estimators will be thousands. It's a little bit like thousand voters on our model. And we want to train this model by raw data by training set. It will be X train and I train, and the funny part will be uh, making uh, making a predictions. I pred, I pred vector will be a uh, model dot predict predict, and we are using uh, test set because we want to test it and to see how much we make a uh, correct predictions, and for this we want to create a classification report. Uh, classification reports will show us uh, how well our model is performing and to doing it we importing a matrix model from SQLearn and let's print a classification report for our model yes okay okay it's based on iPred and iTest as our targets Okay, and as you can see in this table, we have a precision, recall, F1 score, and support values in very high level. And you can check it out. What is uh, precision? Uh, yes, what is a precision? A recall, uh, F1 score, and support. You can pause this video and read it, or Google it. Your choice. Yeah. Okay, and. What we have next is to analyze a confusion matrix. A confusion matrix will tell us uh, which uh, prediction our model do uh, doing good and which prediction is doing not so good. And we want to make a visualization on heat map. And for this, we uh, f first of all import a confusion matrix model from SQLearn matrix like this and. We are using a uh, Seaborn visualization model and let's create a confusion matrix from SQLearn. We are using iTest and iPred because this is our targets, this is our predictions. And okay, Seaborn have a heat map function, very cool function, and argument will be a transponent matrix. We want to visualize. visualize uh, cells in squares, annotation will be true and formatting formatting will be a digits and we don't need C bar I think. Okay and X label it will be a true label yeah. and I label will be a prediction label yeah and let's show it and as you can see we have a confusion matrix and uh, we have in very high values in orthogonal line that means that we have a very good results with uh, a lot of prediction will be make well and we have a very low values in black area that mean uh, is and even zeros a lot of zeros in this black area that means uh, we have a very good results and 
uh, even uh, small numbers in bad uh, prediction. That means that our model is quite good and thank you for watching. I'm sure that you can develop this model even better but this is like a skeleton of the random forest model for classification. Thank you.